What is going on guys? Welcome back to a, another build video. This build video is for the uh, Death Knight, uh, which is a, a necromancer build. It has uh, nearly 7k weapon damage, uh, 41k pen, uh, 37k health or around that mark. Um, and it has around uh, just a little over 2k uh, stamina recovery. Uh, so it's got nice lovely stats. Um, so it's tanky, it's got lots of health, um, it's got everything you need basically, all in one bar, um, and it just fits really, really well. So we'll jump straight into the uh, sets, uh, just to show you what we're running. Uh, so the first weapon I'm using is the Master's Greatsword. Uh, I don't have it in Perfected, but obviously if you have it in the Perfected version, that'd be better. Drops in Dragon Star. I've got a weapon damage enchantment on it, a uh, Nern Honed, as uh, we won't need the penetration, uh, so we're not running Sharpened, and this increases the damage of your cleave, um, each enemy's cone, uh, so that will boost your um, ability, which is uh, the Carve, uh, but we'll go back to the set, so we're running uh, Balorg Heavy, uh, Tristat, Impenetrable, um, the next set we're running is Clever Alchemist, which is a really good set. Gives you two lines of health, a line of weapon and spell damage. And also when you drink a potion, it's going to boost your weapon and spell damage uh, by 651 for 20 seconds. I've got this in uh, heavy, reinforced for the chest. Uh, the shoulders are medium balorg, uh, reinforced. Um... I've got Magicka on the chest, Enchantment and Stamina. Uh, the Waste is a Clever Alchemist belt. Uh, it's in Divines, but I'd probably recommend Impenetrable. Um, with a Max Magicka Enchantment. I've got Clever Alchemist uh, Gloves, uh, which is a multi-effect Enchantment, uh, Impenetrable. Uh, the Legs is Heavy Clever Alchemist, uh, Reinforced. And we've got uh, Clever Alchemist uh, shoes in light, uh, multi-effect, uh, impenetrable. And what I'd recommend is, um, again, what I normally do with most builds, I would say on the big pieces, which is the legs, uh, head and chest, I would do try stat on everything on them if you can, or all of it if it's possible, and do reinforced on the big pieces and impenetrable on the smaller pieces. Uh, so we have we run in one, two, three heavy, and one. And we're running two, uh, three heavy, two medium, and two light. Um, running the necklace of the trainee, uh, two pieces as well. Uh, this is with a Magicka Recovery enchantment uh, and the uh, it's been transmuted to Healthy and another Ring of the Trainee which is Healthy uh, adds weapon and spell damage and the final piece is the Oaken Soul Ring of a Stamina Recovery Glyph and it is infused as well to boost that up so that is the sets so we've got Clever Alchemist uh, two pieces of trainee, Balorg, and the Master's uh, Greatsword. So we're going to the skills. Uh, of course we're running the uh, Blighted Blast Bones, uh, which is the uh, Stamina Morph, as the Magical Morph no longer deals damage. This is hitting pretty hard, to be fair. It's a really good skill still. Um, it, does, it deals disease damage, which has been buffed. Um, since last patch so it's a very very nice skill it's, it's just your go-to skill for any necromancer build to be honest unless you're doing a bomb build and this is the uh, bread and butter of the build which is where the master's uh, greatsword uh, damage will come from so this will be boosted by the master's greatsword this deals bleed damage and also bleed damage over time um, and it also extends the ability the more people you hit um, it also gain a damage shield. Uh, it's not a massive damage shield, but it's just a nice damage shield just to keep you going. 
uh, we've got executioner which is just to uh, when they're on low health you just drop this it hits super super hard um, we've got uh, resistant flesh uh, which is just a heal over time very very nice and we've got a uh, runius scythe uh, which again deals more blade damage and applies the hemorrhaging status effect uh, which this skill doesn't actually do um, it might have a chance to proc it but this will definitely proc it for you um, it also sets them off balance as well and it will heal you I um, mean this scales off your max health that's why health is a little bit higher than normal uh, so we've got two nice heals and we've also got a shield so you're pretty tanky we've got our exe execute and you've got your spammable uh, the blast bones and of course uh, the thing that puts it all together is the onslaught uh, which will give you uh, like tons of physical penetration that's why we can run Nernhound on the weapon and you're also going to get penetration from Balog so it's going to stack really really high um, so obviously at 500 ultimate it's going to be at its best but even if it's not it's still going to do a ton of penetration for you um, so obviously your execution is going to hit super hard and it's just very very nice uh, make sure you have all your passives in your three class lines all your passives in two handed all your passives I haven't actually got them in light armour um, but make sure you have them all in light armour, medium and heavy make sure you have um, your passives in undaunted if you can and obviously your passives in assault and support line I am a high elf uh, which is a damage race I think it fits very very well um, but you can run any race to be honest just uh, change it accordingly if you've got like a Nord or a recovery race just make sure you invest into damage a bit more if you've got a damage race like me just make sure you have like on the oak and soul ring I've got a recovery glyph so just make sure you have a bit more recovery so just whatever your class is just bend it to what you need and also make sure you have your medicinal use so your potions last longer um, so we've got 35 points into health 19 into Magicka and 10 into Stamina these are the stats just completely unbuffed uh, the critical damage is sitting at 22 so add the 50 so you're at 72% critical damage which is quite respectable it's not too bad uh, we've got running the Jewels of Misrule but also run the Smoked Bear Haunch if you can as that will give you slightly better stats but if you can't it's too expensive you can just run uh, the Jewels of Misrule so that's um a fine food to use it's not a problem at all there's not really a lot of difference the mundus is the lady just to get our resistances up and obviously uh, make sure you're a vampire as well I haven't actually got it at the moment on here uh, but run vampire stage 3 just for that undeath passive um, so we're going to the champion points again the green I just recommend steeds blessing gifted rider just for your mount speed liquid efficiency just to reduce the potion usage and rationale just in case you're running the smoke bear horns which is very expensive put that on to make your food last a bit longer the blue ones I recommend uh, fight and finesse master arms deadly aim and resilience just to give you some critical resistance uh, the red I recommend uh, fortified uh, rejuvenation sustained by suffering and Payne's Refuge so the uh, combination is uh, again very simple because it's a one bar build so there's not really anything too crazy um, but so it's, it's not a lot of pre-buffing of course um, so that's your two hills there so you've got the um, resistant flesh um, so if you're in a bad spot you can just spam that and obviously what you would do is you would uh, set up your blast bones drop your ultimate and then just drop your two uh, carve and scythe abilities and keep dropping the uh, blast bones once they're on low health you know try and do it quickly because obviously um, you want the window of this uh, this will give it for five seconds so again you have to do the combination let me try it again um, just very quickly you know because you're only going to have that penetration um, for a limited amount of time so um, but once you put the, once you get used to the combination if we can do it uh, correctly that is um, it's quite easy so blast bones 
ultimate, carve, and then scythe, and then just keep spamming them, and then shut your blast bones up if you need to one more time, and just drop that execute really fast, um, and just get them down quickly, um, and that is the way to go. Um, you would deliver a lot of damage, a lot of quick, you know, very quickly, and just um, make sure um, the blast bones hit at the exact time of the onslaught, um, so that way it will get the maximum benefit. So, again, just blast bones as it's about to hit, then drop the onslaught like that, carve, and your scythe, and then just go into executioner. And so that's going to hit very, very hard against enemies because you're going to get pretty much 100% penetration on most targets. Um, so it's going to cut through them very, very fast. And like I said, the blast bones hit super, super hard as well. Um, it's a real fun skill to use. I'm glad they've left that alone at least. Um, like I said, the necromancer is still a bit tricky to work with. Um, but this is just a simple effective uh, bleed build um, that provides the healing and damage and tankiness that you need um, and it's just a nice little build to get into especially if you're new to necromancer uh, like again the weapons i'll say like the master's grace all that drops in uh, dragon star arena i don't even have the perfected but obviously if you have the perfected then go with that the battle drops in march of sacrifices or the golden vendor Shoulders is from obviously the uh, undaunted chests. Clever alchemist can be crafted um, or bought, so that's quite easy to obtain. And of course, two pieces of trainee and just the oaken soul. So that's not too bad. It's not very quick and easy to put together, and is very very effective. Um, it's just getting that timing down correctly. That is when you will find it become uh, more effective. If you are struggling with it. Um, Again, with any Necromancer build, it's, it comes down to the timing. You've got to hit everything at the correct timing. Um, and that is where, you, where you, you'll see the build shine. Like I said, you've got damage shield, you've got double blade, you've got double heal, you've got an, um, an execute. Everything is here that you need for the build. So um, let me know in the comments, guys, um, if you need any comment, you know, any questions or any uh, feedback, or if you um, need any more help with the build. Um, but it's nice and simple, nice and easy, and very effective and powerful, and it definitely packs a punch. Um, so I'll leave you with the gameplay clips. Uh, drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I will see you in the next video.